services and thoughtful and sincere. Security is tangible and reassuring. Cities are prosperous and full of possibilities. Every second the world changes before our eyes. Time flies by faster than we could have imagined. Every idea can open the door to a completely new era. For creation precedes prediction. The possibilities are endless and we're walking into uncharted territory. We invite you to take this journey with us. Tuya Smart, the global IoT development platform service provider. Tuya Smart is a leading technology company focused on making our lives smarter. Tuya does this through offering a cloud platform that connects a range of devices via the IoT. By building interconnectivity standards, Tuya bridges the intelligent needs of brands, OEMs, developers, and retail chains across a broad range of smart devices and industries. Tuya solutions empower partners and customers by improving the value of their products while making consumers' lives more convenient through the application of technology. Through its growing commercial SaaS business, Tuya offers intelligent business solutions for a wide range of verticals. The company's platform is backed by industry-leading technology complete with rigorous data protection and security. Tuya partners with many global Fortune 500 companies to make things smarter, including Philips, Schneider Electric, Lenovo and many others. The scope of Tuya's business covers the whole chain from smart manufacturing to the application of smart scenes. At the same time, encouraged by the online and offline channel resources of the service providers, integrators and operators in Tuya's ecosystem. Tuya can help our brand customers to sell smart devices to the entire world. Tuya collaborates closely with Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Apple and Samsung in industry ecosystem. Our platform is one of the first that integrates Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, Apple HomeKit, and Samsung SmartThings at the same time. We enable brands to solve product development problems such as high development costs, long development cycles, and technical challenges and roadblocks, so that even companies with zero experience can quickly enter into the IoT space and enhance their product competitiveness. Tuya Smart, the global IoT developer service provider. Based on the underlying IoT past level technical support, we have developed smart business solutions for various industries including hospitality, residential, building, community and office park, etc. The infrastructure behind our platform includes Cloud Plus Networking Module Plus App to enable the rapid development of smart products. Powered by Tuya PBT is a mark of interconnectivity across different brands and categories. Users can easily control any product featuring the PBT label with just one app. Registered IoT device and software developers or registered developers were over 782,000 as of March 31, 2023. From more than 200 countries and regions worldwide, smart devices powered by Tuya are currently available in approximately 120,000 stores all over the world. Better insights will bring more value into our lives, make our business and our homes smarter, but it's very What? Why is my electricity bill so high? I need an explanation. Ask it yourself. Please. You just turned me off, but never cut off power. I'm always on standby mode. For several times, you didn't even close me tight. Come on, I always stay up all night. I'm almost born to old. Is there any way to lower my electricity bill? Last time I saw Hailey. 
she was using a dashboard to manage the power consumption of a lot of smart devices. Hmm, sounds good. But how? Two ways. First, pick some appliances you want to monitor and buy a few power monitoring plugs or power strips. The dashboard will visualize your total power usage. Second, if you want to cover more devices, choose Smart Power Monitor. Install them in each circuit breaker. Then you know the power usage of every single roof. Then everything is ready. The dashboard can automatically calculate our power usage and power bill. Our power consumption ranking is also displayed. Now you know who should take the blame. Remember to check the week-over-week -week power use curve. You'd better know your consumption pattern. Oh, finally. I don't need to stay up anymore. Next time, if you forget me, someone will remind you. One more thing. If you want to tightly control your budget, you can set power use limit. It's cool, isn't it? Hey, where are you going? Ask Haley for the product link. I need power monitoring plugs now. Okay, let's do it. Tuya Smart, make the water a little cooler. The water temperature has been lowered. Make a cup of decaf coffee. Your decaf will be ready soon. Oh, my key. To a smart, show me the recipe. Put butter into a pan, then add the steak. What? Why is my electricity bill so high? I need an explanation. Ask, Ask yourself. yourself. Please. You just turned me off, but never got off power. I'm always on standby mode. For several times, you didn't even close me tight. Come on, I always stay up all night. I'm almost born to old. Is there any way to lower my electricity bill? Last time I saw Hailey.
，市长呢？市长。啊，市长。市长。Mayor。市长。市长。你过去。当然。对。马马上就到我。对。你第一，你第一站。哦，我是第一站。刚好，好，现在两单，记得笑，听出声音吗？<laughs> okay. Good morning, afternoon, and evening to everyone who has joined us here on today's live stream at the Hong Kong Electronics Fair Autumn 2023. We are so glad to be back here with you, both in person and online, to show you some of the latest. Innovations we've been delivering in the IoT. So before we dive into today's session, we're just going to give a quick intro as to what can be expected for those of you who have joined us today. So as we can see here, we are at Two Year Smart's booth here at the Electronics Fair. So today's plan is for those of you who sadly couldn't make it here to beautiful Hong Kong, we're going to take you around piece by piece and show you some of the latest innovations we've had for amazing technologies like Matter, Home Energy Management. Smart lighting, smart hotels, and so much more. We're also going to be joined today by some of our leading product managers here at Two Year Smart, who are going to give us a bit more of a technical and business insight into what you guys can leverage through working with us. So please, guys, we're going to be going for the best part of about one to one and a half hours. So do stick with us. We're going to be working from Matter all the way around the booth. So, intros aside. Once again, welcome, and I will now introduce myself and my colleague here. So, guys, today my name is Dylan Sutton. I'm the senior marketing manager for Two Year Smart here for the Eurasia region, and I'm proud today to be here with you and also with my colleague Flora. Yeah, and uh, I'm Flora,、uh, the business development manager of、uh, Eurasia. It's、uh, glad to be here with Dylan,、uh, showcasing Two Year's latest products. Thank you, Flora. So, guys, I don't know if you can tell at the moment, but we're looking around, and there's probably people walking in front of me, walking behind me. But this is now around local time, 2:30 p.m. This morning was heaving full of people, so it's been a really great start, and we thoroughly recommend those of you who are perhaps in the region in Hong Kong or in mainland China who have the chance to get over to Hong Kong to take that chance because you're really missing out. But we'll do our best to give you the best we can online here today. So. Flora, what's been your first impressions of the show this morning? Yeah, actually, this is the first day I come here, but it's not the first time I joined this、uh, this fair. So it's quite crowded crowd compared with last year. Yeah. Yeah, I think we had the same impact. For us, one of the key things we had, as for the rest of the world, was the impact, sadly, of COVID nineteen, which restricted us largely for having such great. Busy in-person events like this. We started this year back in spring for the Hong Kong Electronics Fair, in which it was great to see so many of you guys coming back face to face here to Hong Kong. And I must say, this autumn has really blown us away so far. So we're really looking forward to how this is going to turn out, and we're so glad finally to be back face to face with everyone here in Hong Kong. So I believe Flora knows a bit more about some of the partners we're working with here in Hong Kong. So I'll let her introduce. Yeah, we have、uh, the retailers and also the brand owners from Hong Kong,、uh, like、uh, Momax and also German Po. That we can see the products of German Po over there. Yeah, actually, guys, how about we just start by coming over here and we'll take a look at German Po, who Flores just mentioned. So come on, let's go. Excuse me, Ken. We're just going to jump in here. Okay, guys. So as sorry, if Flora can squeeze over. Has just mentioned. We just started with a hint of. Please go ahead. <laughs>、uh, of some of the partners that we work with here locally in Hong Kong. So one great partner that Flora has just mentioned is here German Pool. Now we're going to come back to these guys a little bit later. Feel free. Sorry.、Uh, we're going to come back to them a little bit later. But give a polite reminder, guys, that tomorrow at 2:30 p.m. here in Hong Kong and online. Please, guys, go ahead. <laughs> 
is the two-year developer summit of which German Paul, another Hong Kong leading company, Momax, and many others alongside ABB, Google Cloud Platform, and Alexa are going to be joining us here from 2.30 till 5.30 p p.m. local time to give a series of insightful and fascinating speeches about the future of IoT. So please guys, I'll remind you later, but do not forget that tomorrow, 2.30 p.m. Hong Kong time to join us online or offline here in Hong Kong for the two-year developer summit. So without further ado, let's jump in and look a bit more about some of the solutions we have in store for you guys today. Let's go. So if we just come here and have a look at the wall right here behind me, I believe many of you may recognize that logo that we have here on show. That's Matter, right? So many of you guys have been closely following or been aware at least of the development of the Matter protocol of which Tuya has been one of the leading proprietors and developers alongside the Connectivity Standards Alliance. For us, we've seen such great development and we're proud to see brands such as Hammer who are now taking a range of smart matter-based products to market in Europe, among many other regions who are doing very similar work. We're also very happy because we work so closely alongside the CSA that as you can see on the wall here behind me, we've got an increasingly widening range of product support for you guys if you're looking to come and develop matter products. Now, I believe some of maybe the understanding is that it's only big companies, perhaps like the Samsungs, the Googles, or maybe even the two years who are leading the development of the matter protocol. I was having a chat with Floor earlier on, and I think the situation we're finding on the ground is actually more promising and a little bit different. So, Floor, from your perspective, has it just been big companies that are leading the matter development, or are we seeing a range of organizations looking to get involved? Yeah, from my experience, that it's, not, it's not only for the big companies. We also have some smaller size companies are looking for the new products, like the major products. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, for two years, we already have uh, the smart bulb, smart socket, and also the gateway that can support Matter. Right. And we are keep uh, investigating and researching about the Matter solution to finding more products. And uh, such as uh, we have the new products for camera will be launched this, uh, this quarter. Awesome. And I think that's great to hear the feedback, guys, is that it's not just the large organizations who are getting stuck in, and involved with the development of Matter. We're seeing it really across the board and not only from smart home companies. We've had interest from the likes of utilities and telco companies who believe that having a better standard for the communication of devices doesn't just benefit the consumer, but there's gonna be a huge range of benefits that are gonna come across industries. So let's come and take a closer look at what we have on the wall here. And guys, today we are joined with our connectivity specialist, Mr. Mayer Yang. He's our matter expert here at Two Year Smart, and over the next couple of minutes, he's going to give us a real strong introduction as to what you guys can expect from the matter protocol. So, if we'll just face the wall here and take a look about what we have. First up, Maya, I think what would be a good explanation for us and for the guys on screen today is can you explain a bit about how device interaction works with Matter? I know it's all about allowing yeah. our devices to interact with a range of different platforms. Could yeah. you just clear that up for the end guys and how does it look for the end consumer? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so, so far you can see um, here on the wall we have um, the full um, product, uh, portfolio of the whole Matter uh, solutions so far we can have. So, uh, you can see different product category here. We have uh, lighting, light bulbs, uh, light switch, uh, switches, uh, the sensors, um, and, and hubs. Like uh, this, all solution we can pair to the uh, our two ecosystem. Like you can pair to our gateway or directly. Uh, if you are using Matter or Wi-Fi, you can pair to the routers to use our two app to to uh, use the device. And all the Matter solution you can like uh, use our two app and then share to the other ecosystem like uh, to share to um, Apple HomeKit or uh, Google, Google Google Home Assistant or Amazon Alexa or the Samsung SmartThings and all the uh, sharing procedure is very seamless to other ecosystem and after you share this uh, the device to different ecosystem you can like to um, like to directly use the voice voice control like to uh, wake up the Siri or Alexa or Google Assistant to control the devices or to trigger uh, some scenarios to co control all the devices. Like that uh, is how our uh, Meta solution works, right? Perfect, thank you, Maya. And I think that's a really deep run through about perhaps what can be expected. But to break it back down a little bit, I know you mentioned about matter over Wi-Fi, matter over thread. 
So I can see here, we have a few different logos. This one here, so we have a Wi-Fi logo, Zigbee, Zigbee. We have a Thread logo and a Bluetooth one here. Could you just explain a bit more about why we're beginning to develop Matter and why we have all of these logos and communication protocols together? Yeah. And again, what does that mean actually for the end user? Um, so Matter uh, originally is for IP protocol, uh, IP-based protocol, uh, so such as Wi-Fi, Ethernet, uh, and Thread. Uh, these are all IP-based protocol. And for Wi-Fi, it's, uh, it's more suitable for single device. Like everyone have Wi-Fi network in their house. So for Wi-Fi device, they probably have a single product and then can directly connect to their Wi-Fi uh, network in their home. But for some like uh, product which uh, come with a package, like there are loads of uh, devices in a whole eco uh, in a whole system. See, so they are more prefer to use uh, mesh technology. So then they probably use thread or Digby Bridge con convert to Matter, and also we have Ethernet solutions. And these all different uh, product protocol will all support to different uh, user scenarios and to fit to different uh, pro products to uh, realize the whole functions. Yep. Thank you. And I think a great example I had from that was, I believe it was last year in Germany, I was giving a speech alongside Silicon Labs and some of the guys at Amazon talking mostly about matter development. And I think it was Silicon Labs who put on a really great picture. It was essentially just a picture of a uh, store front or store shelf, sorry, in the US selling a range of smart locks. So they originally put the first picture on and then they waited. And on the next slide, they edited the picture and it showed all of the different protocols. So one lock was made with Zigbee, one was made with Wi-Fi, one was made with Bluetooth. And for the end consumer, the result for that previously is that they're gonna pick up that lock and as soon as they go to buy another product, for example, like the IPC or the sensors that we talk about later, it doesn't work. And what we've then found is that that blocks that consumer experience from making a true connected home because they realize then they only have one product that works on one app that they use in isolation. So we're really hoping that the range of connectivity available through the development of Matter will make it much easier for that consumer. So when they go into the store, they don't even need to be aware of the fact that there was previously a different protocol. It should be seamless. They should be hopefully able to pick up that product, put it into their home, and it will pair with all these different others and many more that we will see on screen. So Maya, another quick question for you here is that my visibility is mostly over the European market. But for your side, I know you're managing a lot of the work we do with Matter worldwide. So do you have any good examples of companies we work with at the moment who are delivering Matter solutions and how are they taking them to market? Yeah. Uh, so I uh, think uh, different, different um, reasons, they probably prefer different protocols, like uh, some European market, like if they are only fo for focus on electronic consumer products, um, and they come with a whole package, probably like malware thread uh, protocols, more suitable for, for them. Like so far, there are some uh, uh, companies already launched their uh, metal product in in some uh, uh, like in during the EFA, like they call Hama, and they already launched the product. It's a matter uh, over it's a metal Wi-Fi uh, plugs, but first. Thread, there are also still a lot of uh, companies are working in this uh, technology. Like, uh, it depends on the uh, brand and the product uh, strategy. Like, what kind of uh, strategy they focus on different market and, and different uh, end users, and they probably will choose different protocol to um, control the, med the whole meta solutions. Yep. Perfect. I think it's great to hear from our side is that, you know, when Matter first got released, it felt like it was a little bit of a race to get into the market. And what we're really proud of is that for two years perspective, it first takes a company to come to us, develop the Matter product with us and then take to market. And we believe we're getting via two companies here to the market around the same time as some brands themselves. So we're really happy with the speed at which things are moving. I guess, Maya, you've given us a lot of questions, but one more for you. If there's guys online today who are looking to get involved in the development of Matter to develop Matter products, what's the best way, number one, to learn more information? And then number two, how to get in touch and get started. Yeah, if you are very interested in uh, 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 Tuya Metal Solution, you can connect to Tuya uh, uh, business de developer uh, uh, to to them, and they can we can uh, release some uh, meta information to you, some slides, and we also have some um, add value service like to do the whole 
uh, certification um, uh, surveys. Like so far, we have over 200 medals uh, certifications. It's ranking number one in Great China region. So if you are interested in this uh, information, you can contact to our uh, business developer, and we can uh, share the information to you more specifically. Perfect. Thank you, Maya. And I think it's really, again, exciting to hear about some of the developments we're having. So, guys, as we wrap up the section for Matter, please just think to yourselves, we've reminded you today that it's not just the big companies who are getting involved in this. It is a full range of market players across different industries. So please consider your product strategy and whether or not you're jumping into Matter at the moment and consider starting. We're really here to support you guys and we're really proud of the speed at which we're currently moving. So with that in mind, we're going to stick just quickly on this white wall behind me and we're going to have another look at some of the products that we have in this box here. So guys, we're going to give you a quick introduction to something some of you may or may not know moving forwards is that Matuya now at the moment has a range of product categories that we're investing ourselves initial R&D into developing. These are key product categories that we believe are essential to having a strong smart home solution. So within Box, we have a number of them. Key things here being the smart control panels that we have helped develop at various sizes here at Tuya. So we can see here we have the larger one, which is a central control panel for the home, but we have a range of different options based on the needs of that end property or end user. So some of you may be thinking, why on earth is there an intercom inside of this box? Because guys, a big part of the reason, which we'll touch on later as to why we're delivering this range of products is we have seen huge growth in the development of smart homes developed by property companies, many of which are in apartment buildings. So the reason, guys, we have this intercom within the box is that we have invested the R&D to make sure your smart home control panel can also act as a personal intercom within the apartment building. It means that you no longer have to buy the intercom screen plus the panel. You can do it all within one device. You can swipe across, control your lights, music, smart home and intercom all from one place so guys just a reminder that these are products including the control here the central control panel and then also the big one that we got here developed by Tuya so we're here to back you up with the top R&D in the market so moving on let's have a look over at the lighting section oh sorry IPC first just here so I'll invite Flora to come back to the stage <laughs> so guys we're moving back on now onto the IPC section now, as we have found in recent years, this has been a rapidly growing section and product category within the smart home market. We found A, with a growth of demand for home security, and B, as certain other product categories begin to find a need to diversify or begin to mature, such as smart lighting, we've seen a number of companies branching out and diversifying into the IPC category. Now, there's a few reasons why we're seeing this, but one of the most interesting that we're finding is when we look at companies, for example, Ring, or other key smart doorbell or security providers, is that they are taking revenue for themselves, not just from the sale of the hardware and the physical camera, but also from the software to the cloud storage model. And that model we'll touch on a bit later, but Tuya is also here to support you with. So we are also joined with a product manager here today who I'll invite very shortly. But first, I'll invite Flora. When you look at the wall, is there any particular products that stand out for you when you're looking here today? Yeah, I will choose this one, AI smart, uh, smart bird fader camera. This one here? Yeah. And you can see that there's a bird over there, means that we can fade, they can, uh, fade the birds when you're, you can look, uh, look from the, job, uh, the camera instead of it. And also that we can support the uh, AI recognition uh, that you can see the spe uh, species of the birds from this one. Yeah. Right, so just to confirm, and I'll bring in Kim, our product specialist, to come and confirm that. So with the AI camera here, Kim, so that's right that we now have the capability that it can see not only the bird, record, but also recognize yes. what type of bird. Is that right? Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, this, can, uh, this smart bird uh, video bird feeder, it can do the uh, bird detection, uh, square detection, and also uh, plus the bird recognition. So bird, for the bird lovers, they, this, you, you don't need to uh, be, you, you don't need to tell uh, 10,000 10, bird, it's impossible. Right. But we, uh, with our bird recognition uh, technology from the cloud, we can do that. And it can, uh, it, uh, for, the, for, the, for our customers, you know, for our customers, 
for uh, when they sell this smart video bird feeder, they not only sell the hardware, actually they can sell, resell the bird recognition, cloud storage, uh, cloud album, you know, in the in app, in that app. So which can, 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 uh, can uh, which can bring continuous incomes for their business. Yeah. I see. I think that's really interesting, again, because we touched earlier on, guys, about the different types of business model that revolve around this physical product here. And that's some of the really interesting innovation we're seeing in the IPC sector. So not just on the technology side, but the really inventive models like Kim just mentioned, whether it's going at a low price with the hardware and then taking your revenue on a monthly recurring basis or offering as part of a whole security solution. I know we work closely with a few telecoms companies in the past who delivered a really interesting model in which their home security was yeah, based yeah. on a subscription model, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So could you explain a little bit more about that case? Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, this is another business model. You know, you, we look at the North American market uh, for companies like uh, Ring, Wise, you know, they are the, uh, they are the market leaders. Uh, they, already, they, are, they already get the business out, not only the cameras, they are reaching, they are offering the complete home security solutions complete home, solution, uh, home security solutions, which can uh, give the users the option, not, not only can do the home uh, self-monitoring, but also can do the professional monitoring. So professional monitoring, and uh, for, from the other side, we have, we have integrated with the uh, local uh, monitoring company called Noonlight. They can offer their uh, local uh, monitoring service. And for the users, uh, who, uh, who want to have a third party to do the monitoring service for them, they can uh, purchase the monitoring service just inside the app. So we, this is a business model is for our uh, for Toya clients is that they can resell the hardware, the alarm hardware, the cameras, and then resell their uh, home uh, uh, monitoring service to the users. Monitoring service and also they can resell the uh, like I, I sh uh, just showed in the, this uh, image, call notification, uh, SMS notification. So for the users, uh, if they if they uh, if their uh, budget uh, is is limited, they, they don't want to hire a third party professional monitoring service. They can they can buy the uh, cheaper one, the cheap call notification from the cloud. Just a robot, you know, yeah. notification. <laughs> yeah. I see, I think that's really interesting to hear about some of the inventive business models again that we're seeing. But how about now? We'll focus a bit more on some of the individual product that we have here today. So I know we've just discussed this amazing bird feeder here, um, but could you introduce us a little bit more about some products that we've got here today that stand out for you and why? Uh, uh, today, today, besides the smart video bird feeders, we bring the dual lens, dual lens uh, ca cameras, and this one, this dual lens is a PT uh, plus bullet cameras. So with one camera can looking at a fixed area, another camera can working move around and w watch any area you want it. So you buy one camera and you pay maybe one point uh, one uh, one one uh, one point five, you know, monies, but you get a two camera and to monitor two sides. Yeah, and this one, and this one, uh, the. This one, uh, this one is also dual lens, but it's not a PT. It's just a two fixed lens. Two fixed lens, but we combine the two image into one image, one panoramic, 180 degrees, and it can be used in use in the warehouse and in the shop, and uh, in the you know in uh, in the uh, areas you want to monitor the complete area, but with one camera, save the installation and save the cost. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. And I mean, just quickly on some of these, because I know many people are conscious about if they have a camera that's a long distance away, what kind of protocol supports that? So for example, is it Wi-Fi? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and there's another, uh, another um, uh, model I want to introduce. That's the 4G, uh, 4G cameras. And this is just one type, one model for your reference. And uh, with the 4G cameras, uh, it can be totally wireless uh, without power and uh, uh, no need to connect to the uh, uh, to the, uh, with a cable, you know, to the to the power, and no need the, the wi uh, Wi-Fi. You can install the camera as anywhere you want it. But the the most uh, interesting for our client is that they sell the 4G camera and also they can sell the 4G data in the in the app. User they purchase, they don't need to buy the SIM card. Default the camera will uh, is with the 4G SIM card and with the trial data, and after the 
uh, after the 100 megabyte is used up, uh, they can purchasing the uh, data directly in the app. They don't need to look look for the SIM card and the purchasing the data from the uh, from the SP. So save a lot of more, uh, uh, money and also save a lot of trouble for the users. Yeah. I see. So they can just purchase the data directly from within that powered by Tuya app. Is that right? Yes. Yes. We. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we already we already supported. Uh, we can support North America, Canada, United States, Mexico, and also we can support more than uh, thirty countries in the Europe. We also support support Japan, uh, uh, Thailand, Indonesia, and also some uh, some other countries. If any countries you want, we can we can we can integrate. So it seems like we've got a fairly complete solution coming here. We've got fantastic, massive work going in from Tim's team in the development of the technology. That's been so much better improved every year on year. We've got fantastic hardware, really powerful software, and that's allowing you guys to have a full range of diverse business models. So whether it's coming in and directly selling hardware and not taking software, that's fine. If you want to come in and offer a range of services ranging from cloud storage to AI recognition or supporting the upgrade of the 4G topping up, that's all absolutely fine. And our software from Tuya can support that. So I guess, Kim, just one more question for you is that what can we expect and what should we look forward to in the coming years for IPC and working with Tuya? Is there any highlights that you can give to us? Um, in, uh, I think in this industry, in the IP camera range, uh, the, ca the camera we will for sure, we will bring the uh, currently, the uh, due to the limited space, so we can only show the six six uh, product. As we we think is have some special features, but in the future, I think we will have the camera. Uh, for example, uh, for example, the camera with a screen, and and with a screen. So for targeting market is that for you uh, for the kids, you know, uh, which age is like between four years old to eight years old because at that at that uh, uh, at that uh, age the ch uh, the children they they want to interact with their parents and the, with the screen you have a you have just like a wechat you know lots of whatsapp uh, you, you can communicate directly in face yeah and that's one uh, one range i can see and uh, another uh, another product folks uh, we i didn't sh uh, show here but i think is is uh, Will uh, could it be a possible range is the, for example, the BB monitor, but with with some radar technology, uh, you know this kind of technology can detect can do the detection and the, of the uh, kit, uh, kit, you know, between zero to three years old, you know, to provide more information for their caring parents because for the new parents they care a lot of of their kids, so they want to monitor the kids. Uh, in all perspective, uh, perspective. So with this kind of uh, high tech knowledge, they can do these things. Yeah, mm. I think that's right. And we're going to touch on that a little bit more later about how we're working with not just babies, young children, but putting together smart home solutions of which IPC and cameras will be one part. But then we're going to combine with other aspects of security, be it from sensors or door locks and that to encourage the use of wireless smart home solutions for security moving forwards is what we're looking to do. So thank you, Kim. <laughs> thank you very much. And I will now invite Flora to come back to the stage. Cheers, Kim. So guys, you heard it there. Kim is one of our top experts for the IPC range. So please, if anything from today, from that quick discussion, caught your interest, you know exactly where to find us and get to this man because we are doing a lot of work for this product category at the moment and we're excited to see what's coming soon as Kim mentioned. So that's us done for IPC guys and we're now going to move slowly towards this lovely brown section that we have here on my right which as many of you may know has traditionally been one of the largest if not the largest category of products within the smart home which is smart lighting. Now many of you are probably aware that Tuya has been a key component in developing smart lighting solutions for consumers in recent years. But what some of you may not be too aware of is that we actually have a range of lighting solutions, not just for end B2C customers, but also for businesses ranging from football stadiums to offices and much, much more. So to help me introduce a little bit more about that today, I would like to invite my colleague Becca to come up to the stage and talk to us a bit more about some of the key solutions we have 
for smart lighting. Yep. So first of all, Becca, welcome to the stage. <laughs> and then secondly, so let's have a look at what we see behind us here is that I can see we have a beautiful range of B2C products. We're not going to touch those now. <laughs> what we're going to look at here is professional lighting solutions here on the left hand side. So could you introduce a little bit more about who is a target customer? Why? And what kind of solution we're providing for these professional and SMB lighting solutions? Well, thank you, Dylan. So for two years previously, we launched a um, commercial lighting solution that, that, that is mostly for uh, large scale business companies and corporations. And now we are just um, um, try to present our SMB solutions, mostly for those customers using into uh, kind of offices or restaurants, those kind of places that are using like the devices less than 200 like devices. So um, we are here to present in our like uh, scene switches, as you can see here, like dimmer switches and also driver and controllers that you can use for local control your uh, lighting products. And except for like, I can actually show you how the dimmer switch looks like. If you turn it on and off with the dip switch here, and then you can dimmer uh, it on and off with, this is gonna be connected to our SMB solution. And we also have our um, scene switches here that are using for different modes, like reading or, uh, or sleeping modes. Yep. So um, like you can, you can control and manage the dimmer level and also probably turn it on and off for like the air conditioner and some other devices in, in, in the house. So that's currently what we're presenting here for SMB solutions. So besides, we also have our smart control panel. Dylan has previously just introduced a little bit more about, you know, control panels, our 10 inches, five inches control panel. And we have our 10 inches here, which works with our SMB solution perfectly as well. You can use those. Um, control panel to manage and control all your lighting uh, lighting products or dimmer switches and any, any other like electrical products uh, in the house. So that's basically how our professional lighting solution here presenting here to you guys. So firstly, thank you for introducing that in a little bit more detail. And I know you mentioned perhaps the target customer is someone in a property using less than 200 devices, right? Yeah. Okay, so in terms of what kind of property could that be? Is that going to be like an office building? Is it a restaurant? Something like that? Yeah, that's right. Mostly it can be used for like uh, small scale office buildings or restaurants or kind of retailers. So this kind of shops that as long as you have devices, small devices that are less than 200, it's going to be a perfect solution using our SMB solution for that. Yeah. Right. I think the interesting thing we've seen with the development of the SMB solution and Flora, who's off screen, will probably agree with me. I won't invite you just now, <laughs> is that for us, we focus a lot on Europe. Um, Becca's mostly focused on North America. That's right. So for us, the thing we found really interesting for the European market for SMB lighting has come off the back of the Ukraine war and the energy crisis. Because when you consider the viewpoint of the consumer trying to save energy, if I leave my house for the day, I can easily turn off the lights. Or even if I'm inside and I'm really trying to cut costs, I can turn off the lights. It's not a huge problem. But when you're thinking about a restaurant, an office, perhaps some stores that operate 24 hours, they have no choice in doing so. So where do they turn? They can't just flick off the lights. They go to professional lighting solutions. But traditionally, within the market, these are extremely expensive or not feasible, particularly when the budget is very tight. So what we're happy to do here, and Becca maybe can introduce a bit more, is that our solutions are largely wireless, which makes it much more accessible for the end consumer. So I know, oh sorry, for the end business. Yep. So for us in Europe, we've seen really good uptake of companies quickly looking to deploy these solutions and manage at least the energy from their lighting. But I was gonna wonder, have you seen much of an uptake with a focus on energy in the US or has there been other aspects such as improving the quality of lighting in the building or improving the environment? So in the North American market, have you found anything specific about the needs of the end business? Yeah, well, we found out a lot of requirements actually from North American market for the energy consumption and energy management for those uh, light control system. So um, for us, like SMB solution mostly is for local control devices. Like I said, it's less than 200 uh, devices. But if you want to have like if you want to have those devices to be connected to the cloud, you can also end up using a gateway. Right. And then connect to the cloud so that those end customers, they can actually uh, remote control all these devices at the house. So um, that's another advantage of Tuya. And um, in North American market, we found out a lot of customers, they try to uh, see, you know, they want to have a, a, a 
energy powering like those kind of smart sockets or lighting products. So with our SMB solution, you can have those products embedded into our you know solution and then get those uh, products connected to the cloud, remote control those products. That's how the advantage when you have the gateway connected to the uh, SMB solution products. Yeah. Right, and perfect. Thank, thank you for answering double of my questions there. As well. <laughs> you got them both into one quick hit. So guys, that's just a reminder about our solutions for lighting for SMB, as we can see here behind me. But do stay tuned, because later on, as we go around, we're going to look a bit more at those commercial lighting solutions that we spoke about there. So just as a reminder, like Becca just mentioned, the one we see on screen behind us is targeted at buildings such as offices, shops, restaurants, of which there is less than 200 devices. But I'll invite Flora to come up to the stage because as we go in later, we do have another company we work with called Firefly, who works not quite with this type of property, but with some larger buildings. So could you introduce just quickly before we go to later, what kind of properties were Firefly working with? And a bit more about just quickly the SaaS we'll hit on later on and the difference with the SMB solution. Yeah, actually, uh, Firefly has been cooperated with us like two years and we have a great cooperation together. They help us to sell more uh, you know the project products into their market and also we help them to improve the solution that we offer to them that the commercial lighting solution and uh, currently we have uh, the project i mean uh, our customer have the project for the local mark uh, lo local market like the government and also the office buildings uh, the parking lot and also the stadium it's quite a, a lot of uh, project over there yeah Right, so I believe when I saw some of Firefly's work on decks or on the videos we make, the most impressive were some of those that work with the stadiums. So just to be clear, the solution they're working with is not exactly the same as the SMB one. It's another solution that we'll talk about later for commercial lighting. Is that right? Perfect. So thank you, Flora, and we'll touch on that a bit later. Now, Becca, I'll invite you back up to the stage as we move away from our commercial or SMB lighting solutions and take a look still about some of the hotter lighting products we're seeing on the market today. So first one for me that stands out, because I actually have one of these products myself, um, is this one here, which is called the Smart Sleep Helper. I've got one of these in my home. Awesome. Because what it does, I can time on that smart app, whether it's from the customer or it's from Two Year Smart, at which time I wish to be woken up, how long my waking up period is, and it will slowly get brighter and brighter in the morning as it wakes me up with some nice bird song, which is lovely. I'm not going to lie. So for anyone looking to get involved, I think it's a great product personally. You may or may not think the same, but for a bit more, I'm going to invite Becca to introduce, I believe, I think this product could be of interest. The HDMI stream sync controller yep. is a pretty cool one. So please introduce a little bit more for the guys. So this time we are presenting our HDMI sync controller as well. So uh, for this product, as you can see, the TV is actually showing different colors. Uh, and um, you can actually have your HDMI controller assembled with your TV and also some other lighting products as well, just like the light bar or the strip lights uh, at the back side of the TV. And um, uh, you can also have very good lighting effects when you are trying to watch the film or the time that you're having a music party or you know, enjoy any you know, time at, in the house with your friends. So that's gonna be a very good atmosphere that you have those uh, lighting products that having seen effects uh, with your, um, you know, with, with, with the HDMI controller. So that's, uh, that's uh, the one that we offer actually this time. Yeah, I think that's a great standout. And we've seen a huge uptake, not just with the home entertainment focusing around the film and home cinema, but obviously, of course, for the gaming market as well, yeah. which we see so many of our customers coming in and taking other great products like this little light strip that we see behind here, putting it up on their gaming setup and having an amazing gaming experience at home with smart lighting at a much more affordable cost than they're expected to. So, guys, that's going to conclude our lighting section that we have today. So, again, thank you to Becca. That was a fantastic and detailed introduction. And now we're going to move on to our next section, which is in the green part over here. So we'll just take a walk around. So I'm going to invite Flora back up to the stage. <laughs> I've got you jumping back on and off today, don't I? So as we move, we probably see, guys, that we've changed colors from a questionable brown into a nice light green color that we have behind me. So I will give no prizes for anyone who can guess what we're about to talk about here. So as we can take a look, we are now going to be discussing two years smart household energy management solution, otherwise known as HEMS. So as many of you may be aware, and like we spoke about earlier in the lighting section, consumers worldwide, particularly in the European market, have been pressed rather than the energy costs. Sorry, we'll squeeze across. 
and they're continually finding new ways to manage their energy. On the flip side of that, in markets where the penny is a bit tighter, we've perhaps found that some products that are not essential or necessities and are more considered as luxuries are perhaps less in demand than those solve a critical problem for that user. And now, at the moment, that problem to be solved is the cost of their energy. So over the past 18 months or so, we've invested a ridiculously high amount of R&D into making our comprehensive home energy management system, which I'm really proud to introduce you to in more detail today. Oh. So on the wall behind me, sorry guys, <laughs> on the wall behind me, we can see that Tuya has invested R&D both into the development of hardware and then also, which we'll touch on slightly in a second, the development of a range of powerful software focused on the automation of your home energy. So before we dive in, if there's one thing you take away from the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna tell you now. That thing is two years key advantage in the home energy management world, which is, as we can see, we have a range of products here. Typical ones considered in the HEM sector, whether that's the battery, the EV charger, the solar panels and the inverter, these are typically available from a range of HEMS providers. But to your strength is that we enable a platform to control the whole home energy. So picture a scenario. I've gone to another brand. I won't name names. I've purchased my EV charger, my battery, my solar panels and inverter. I've got that managing those key energy aspects. But then I bought a refrigerator. That's obviously not being bought from that provider. So for that, if I want to control the energy, I need another app and it's going to be very difficult to connect those. And then the more devices I add, the more apps we need. The power of the two-year platform is that we have not just a range of devices available for home energy management, but in one app, they're going to connect to the rest of that home. And we'll talk about that in more detail. So you can see that if you want to take your energy management solution to market, you can offer one place for your end users to take energy from the sun via solar panels and distribute and manage and automate that across refrigerators, TVs, AC, and much more within the home. So now let's take a bit more of a detailed look about what we have behind us and some of the product R&D we've been investing in recent years. So as I've just described, we give support for a range now of solar inverters. We give support for solar panels. We have also here smart electricity meters, a smaller inverter, and this interesting battery that we have down here is also for a balcony solar solution. So as many of you may know, Many solar installations do cost a bit of money in standalone homes, but these are designed to match with the rest of our solution in a solution for apartments with no need for high installation costs can be put straight on the balcony alongside a balcony solar panel, store that home energy and manage the energy used in your apartment. Now, guys, I'm not just talking today here about individual products that we see. As we can see by these lovely green lines, these are, of course, all connected under one home energy management system. So we'll take a look here, if you can come and have a look on the wall. So hopefully you guys can see that on screen. This is a little bit of a look of what we call our energy management dashboard. And now this dashboard guys is available for you to combine with the hardware and take to market inside of your own branded app. So we'll take a scroll through here and see a little bit about what's available. So we'll see here, because we're connected to the devices on screen, we're not taking any energy in, but you can usually use this to track energy coming in from your PV, being stored in the battery, as we can see down here. You can use our app to send it back to the grid or use it within the home, and more importantly, automate it to the rest of the devices in the house. So let's take another look through here at the various modes. So we can see here, we offer a range of predetermined automations and modes that you can use within this app to manage your home to make sure it's as easy as possible for end users to flick a switch and just automate those energy savings. Then we'll come back here. We'll have a look at the PV level that we got set up in here. There we go. We're now currently set 164.8 kilowatt hours and we can use that to track what we're gaining in from that PV and finally, the most important for most of our end users is to do with profit. How much energy they save, the electricity savings, and how much they make from sending back to the grid. And now what can be done, if we just pan back out, <laughs> within that app is that they can connect that as just one dashboard among the typical two year smart or smart life app that you're all aware of. So like again, guys, in one place, they can manage their whole home energy management 
automate the energy consumed by devices across the home and then go to market with really interesting solutions. So I'm bringing Flora again now just for a second. I've spoken a little bit about the technology that's available here, but now I want to talk a bit more about the business model. So when we look at that app that we've just seen there for the dashboard, have you seen any companies using perhaps an interesting business model to monetize that dashboard or no? Yeah, actually, we have some, uh, uh, you know, the customers that are using the dashboard that they can have the energy saving uh, kits, uh, the TRV products and also the sensors together uh, by our dashboard. And then they can monitor and manage the products by the, by the dashboard. That's great. So similar to what we spoke about earlier on in the ITC section, we're seeing a more wider range of innovative business models being built around home energy management. Interestingly, we've also seen a range of interest from utilities and energy companies. So we're looking to get into this sector with their own solutions rather than reselling other brands. So if perhaps you are from that category and with us today on the call, do consider guys, if you want one place for your end energy users or electricity purchasers, end users to manage not only the buying of their energy, the management of their accounts, but actually how do you help them save energy this is a great place to come because what we can do for you guys is provide not only a completed OEM app, but of course, all the API and SDK for this home energy management automation system is open, guys. So you can come to us and you can build, embed it into your own app, a similar HEMS match with your own branded hardware. So as we move over just slightly to the right here, as many of you are probably aware, when you're considering what is the largest consumer of energy in the home and in buildings it is of course heating ventilation and air conditioning so with that in mind and as we can see in connection to our home energy management system we're proud to have invested a significant further range of R&D into making a wider range of product hardware and software solutions available for smart heating so if we take a look on the wall behind us we have solutions available both for heat pumps smart boilers and then also we can see here our smart thermostat which are of course an integral product to any smart home heating system. And then finally, our smart AI algorithm center, which when linked in with the rest of your smart home energy management system, gives you a really powerful way to cut costs, save energy and help the planet. So as you move back forwards, I just want to talk about a few examples with Flora and times at which it could be useful to manage that whole home, all device energy management. So Flora, can you think of a time in which an end user may need to control this energy from their solar into a battery and distribute that to specific devices within the home? Yeah. There, may be, there may be some condition happens that when some of the cities have uh, the black, uh, blackout issue, that when one of, maybe some uh, consumers, when they have the blackouts and then they have the smart socket near, in their home, they can use it for the, for the fridge. So when the blackout happens, that uh, the consumers can uh, can use the smart showcase choose the electricity from the um, not useless uh, uh, products into this fridge and then they can get the electricity perfect usage during that time right so they can distribute the energy across the home which means when we talk about things like refrigerators means they don't have to buy food every day which means less trips to the market they can use the supermarket more so not only are they saving energy themselves as a whole by less trips to that market, less trips to the supermarket, the planet benefits as well because of less fuel emissions. So that's something to consider guys. And just to reiterate, sorry again, once more, is that the key strength that we have here is that we can offer whole, truly whole home energy management system. So with that in mind and keeping the color green, we're gonna move on to our next section here. So, we're just going to move on now to a section that we call smart travel. So the meaning of which may be a little bit of an interesting one. For us, smart travel solutions relative to IoT and smart home are ways in which we can use the IoT to make it easier, safer and more efficient to get from A to B on your travels. And we have a range of product solutions encompassed within that. Now, some of those that you're probably familiar with are things such as e-scooters, e-bikes, but then we also have a full range of stuff connected. In terms of vehicles, we have things like surfboards and skateboards. But then also, more interestingly, we have a range of self-developed products here at Tuya, such as smart trackers that we're gonna have on the wall behind me. 
So I'm going to be really polite and have to ask these guys to move along in a second. Excuse me. Okay, okay. I have to squeeze in. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hi. So we're just recording here. Sorry, guys. We're going to take a look now at some of the travel sections. So, um, and sorry to interrupt about that one. <laughs> so we're going to take a look here. Coco, we were just discussing about some of the smart tracker solutions. So I'll introduce a little bit first. Uh, and then we've got a few questions for you. So what we've got here on the right is a little bit small but we have a range of what we call smart trackers that we've developed in-house here at Tuya. Now, I can see that we have this one here that we call the chocolate and the cookie, which to me are great names. But I can see them next to that Apple works with Find My Network. But then I can also see we have an interesting other range of products, such as a smart tag or card, which I can't take off the wall, but that fits nicely into your wallet. I can see we have 4G pet trackers, GPS trackers, and a full range. So question one. Can you please explain to me what is the difference with these we see up here and the rest? So the first, uh, the first difference is between the communication method. These tag products, based, uh, they use the Bluetooth, but this, but this three uh, runs on the 4G, and uh, the locating function of these three products relies on the Apple's Find My Network. But for these three, they relies on the GPS model inside of it. Yeah. I see. So. Just to clarify with that one, that if I have a Samsung at the moment, I can't use this on my phone. That's right. Yeah. I see. But in which case, I can choose to select yeah. some of these ones here, and that will work in my Samsung or other phones that we have. I see. Okay. So when we think about examples of times at which we use some of these trackers, I know you gave me one as a sample. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've got one of these inside of my suitcase. It's fantastic, and I love it. Um, but let's think of some other, maybe more practical or other examples in which these can really be used to help people's mm -hmm. lives. So can you think perhaps, for example, for some of the 4G trackers, times at which people may need it? Is it looking after pets, family? Give some examples. Yeah, I think maybe I will recommend this one because this, this GPS tracker can, uh, mo most uh, clients buy it for, for, their, uh, for, the, for their elderly uh, family members, but they can also buy it for their children or for their, their pets. So when they are travel at on Euro time, they can check the uh, a location of their family members from from the app from time to time to really help to make the caring for the elderly for children much easier yeah so so i i think this one can really help to uh solve the problems of a uh, caring elderly for children and help to achieve the full scenario the full geographical locating yeah. yeah, I think also for me, one of the huge business benefits I see with these kind of products is actually in the insurance sector. Because if I look, for example, for travel insurance, people are always complaining that they've lost their luggage by just simply offering the end customer from the insurance company that small tag at a low cost that can save a full range of trouble and stop so much hassle in dealing with airlines. So we're going to move away now quickly from the tracker because I know we're a little bit pressed for time. And then we're going to look here. So here we have a beautiful looking bicycle. Also, as we can see in Tuya colors, which for us is going to represent that this product was developed by Tuya. Is that right? Yeah. So Flo, I'm going to have a few questions for you about this bike. I, for myself, am an avid cyclist, but please can you help me understand a bit more? I understand about e-bikes and how it helps the environment, but why does this e-bike need to be smart and connected to an app? Yes, that's a really good question. That's a really good question. Yes, for, for this one is our latest uh, 4G e bike So so here you can see here it includes our 4G VCU inside of it. For VCU it includes our 4G module, Bluetooth module, GPS module, and a G sensor. So by 4G module it can realize the remote control of the e bike which means first uh, uh, so it can, you can remotely lock and unlock the e bike So when when you are at uh, work, so you can uh, unlock the e bike at home for your family members and uh, secondly so we know in Europe the e-bike will sit for a relatively very high price usually between two to four thousand euros so uh, in, uh, so um, for, for tracking such valuable uh, 
uh, pieces. So we, we do rely on the GPS model inside of it. So maybe around uh, 10 minutes, the, the location of it will be reported to the to the app. So for the end users, they can check their valuable e-bikes, the, the location of their e-bikes from every uh, every 10 minutes. And also it has a really, uh, really important anti-theft function. So for the users, they can turn on the move alarm function in their app. So the bike will play a sound uh, when it's when it's when it's locked, uh, and somebody moves it. So for example, the bike. I'll try and see if you guys can hear it. Maybe or maybe not. So if I pick this up right now and take it away, I don't know if you can hear, but there's a sound that will. <laughs> There we go. So that's an all-in-one product here, guys. So you don't need to buy the bike plus the accessories. We can have it all in one and controlled via a great app, which I'll quickly finish by showing on screen here. App of it. So here is the uh, uh, app of it. So you can unlock it. Yes. So here you can unlock it and uh, you can check the battery level of it and the speed of it and then change the level of it from one to two and also you can uh, turn on the light you can see here it can turn on the light and turn off the light and uh, change the unit from mph to K K km so you can see here it has been successfully changed yeah Thank you very much, Coco. Um, if you could help by putting the phone back and then we're going to move on to the next section. So huge thank guys. And if you're having much interest in getting involved in e-mobility with Tuya, Coco's a great person to come and find. So guys, we're now going to move on into the last section of today's live stream. So we're going to come over here and I'll invite Flora back to the stage with me over here. So just as we introduce this section here, as we mentioned earlier, when we were discussing smart lighting, Tuya is not only a company that provides solutions for smart home, and consumers. We also have a full range of designated tailored solutions for smart buildings and what we call smart industry. So what we can see behind me, we have our tailored SaaS solutions for hospitality or smart hotels, commercial lighting and building, two-year residential and most recently we have two-year house and real estate which we will touch on a little bit later. So guys just a little bit about the business model. Some of you may be familiar with our model of the OEM app in which you can come to Tuya, develop your own reskin smart home app, combine with the hardware and take to market with a finished solution with no R&D needed in-house. Now, our business logic for our smart building solutions is very similar. So as we can see just here on the board, if you can see it, we can offer a ready-made app, a management platform, a cloud plus hardware ecosystem and a range of great hardware that's ready for you to put together, rebrand and have your own smart building solution for hotel commercial lighting, much more. So I believe Flora, you can introduce a little bit more here because I know we had, as you mentioned, Firefly who didn't use the SMB solution, but they're actually using our commercial lighting SAS or as we have it called here, commercial lighting and building. So could you explain for Firefly as a Dutch and European company, what stood out for them? in that smart building SaaS. Exactly. Firefly is one of our leading customers on the uh, area of commercial lighting uh, solution. And uh, we have, uh, actually I can tell the story that my customer shared to me that uh, the project they have right now has been saving around 60% uh, from the compared with the last, uh, last year. So, which means that we have uh, helped them a lot and help the consumers a lot about the energy saving part. Perfect. Thank you, Flora. And as we're pushing on again with time, let me just kind of summarize a little bit more. So within here, we have a couple of solutions. I know there's some confusion, so I'll answer this question. We have one that's called residential and one that's called house and real estate, which is a newly released solution. So let me first explain that two year residential is a SaaS platform for the management of smart rental properties, which means you can manage the moving in, moving out and installation of smart apartments and those who come in and out of them. Then separately, our house and real estate solution is designed for homes that are to sell. So this is for you if you're a property company or a smart home platform and are looking for more established B2B platform for your installers, where you can put together quotes, designs for prices, and then all together build a whole solution that goes to market with, this is a solution you're going to need. 
And then one final point, if you're looking to get started with SAS with Tuya, we're here to make it as easy as possible. So these two boxes and others that we have available for you to take on the road and show your clients are available for purchase. And inside are the devices that you will need to really go and wow your clients with your SaaS solutions. So guys, we're going to move on. And it's a little bit busy around here. So we're going to begin to wrap up, I think, as we try and squeeze around here. So can I just get a quick check? How long do we have for time? Okay. So we've got a bit more time, guys, which means we're going to keep going through all we want to do today. So we're going to try and squeeze slowly around the back into this section here. So as we can see in this island section we have in the middle of the booth here, we're displaying some of the hot selling and key products that we have from a range of different solutions and sectors. So I'm going to ask Flora, from what we see here, does anything stand out to you? Yeah, like we earlier mentioned that uh, we have the energy saving case that we involves in the TRV products and also sensors and also AC controllers. That which means that you can do the free uh, free case that as you wish, but uh, normally we will suggest you to have the TRV as the main part for the energy saving uh, mini program. And uh, also, Dylan, is there any products you're interested? Yeah, I mean, thanks for that, Flora. I think a key thing you've highlighted there for me is that as we discussed earlier in that section about home energy management, we have a range of products that are here to support you when you're developing whole home energy management solutions so i'm going to pull up a product in my hand that you're probably familiar with is the good old metering socket and smart plug now what we're seeing is that when we're looking at markets which perhaps the end i'm sorry the end consumer cannot purchase a fully complete smart refrigerator but they want to manage their energy they will take just this nice simple smart metering socket plug that refrigerator into it and then from there they have the power to automate the energy that comes from the solar into the battery and then through this to control that refrigerator like flora mentioned earlier on so as we move on perhaps to the final section that we have here today actually we may have two more i think we have time so this section here we're going to focus on some of the leading brands that we work with here at tuya so like we mentioned today and a reminder again is that we have here german pool who are going to be joining us at tomorrow's Two Yet Developer Summit, as they are a local Hong Kong-based company who are doing great work in the home appliance sector, and there's going to be a great speech. So again, reminder, guys, tomorrow, 2.30 p.m. Hong Kong time start, we're going to be having an amazing round of presentations from leading companies. Then, besides that, if we look around here, I'll try and highlight some of the products without interrupting, as we see here this lovely scooter, which is from none other than Sharp the famous electronics brand. So as you can see, these guys are getting into not just the e-mobility, but the smart e-mobility range. And then finally, another company which you may be able to see just on the far side over here is the smart vacuum cleaner, which I'm just going to try and dance around. Is this one here. So when we talk about the brand, all I'm going to do is point at the name and you're going to recognize. So these are the kind of companies, guys, who work with Tuya in developing a really wide range of smart products. So please, guys, feel free to join that list. Join us and develop the future of the Internet of Things. Now, before we finish, we're going to go around the back of the booth one more time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making our cameraman do a lot of work today. <laughs> thank you to the cameraman for your hard work so we're going to finish up guys just on this wall that we have here behind us and an important reminder for those of you who perhaps have privacy concerns or customization concerns is that traditionally Tuya is an IoT cloud platform provider which means our IoT platform is on top of a public cloud network based in regions around the world and various cloud centers but in recent years what we have found is a demand further for security and privacy and customization of that IoT solution that's been delivered. And that's why we released two years' very own private cloud solution called Cube. Don't forget the name, guys. So the idea of that, just to quickly summarize, if you're looking to develop an IoT solution using two years' capabilities on top of your own chosen cloud network service provider, we can do that for you. We can help integrate and get that solution on top of your cloud service provider, which means we are cloud agnostic 
and you can still leverage the full range of smart capabilities that we have available on the two-year platform deployed on your private server. Without going into too much detail, that's what I hit on today. And we're now going to begin to wrap up today's show. So we're going to stand here, cover floor, <laughs> and try and avoid some of the people around us now, as we would like to begin to thank all of you who've joined us for today's show here in Hong Kong. It's been an absolute thrill. I hope we've given you guys some unique insights into some of the latest innovations we have here at Two Year Smart. And now, once again, for the third time, do not forget that tomorrow, 2.30 p.m. Hong Kong time, we're going to have the Two Year Developer Summit here with great speakers from ABB, Alexa, Google Cloud Platform, and much, much more here to share some amazing insight for you guys. So once again, a huge thank you from me, Dylan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And we look forward to seeing you at the next one. So stay tuned and hope to see you all very soon. Thank you. What? Why is my electricity bill so high? I need an explanation. Ask it yourself. Please. You just turned me off, but never cut off power. I'm always on standby mode. For several times, you didn't even close me tight. Come on, I always stay up all night. I'm 